Well, Eagles fans, you can thank Lane Johnson for this one. You know, that Vitae kid, I can, I'm only going to come down on him but so much for this one. Yeah, he didn't play well today. You know, he was also going up against one of the best, you know, elite pass rushers in the NFL. Congratulations, Redskins Matt fans, man. Y'all just... Y'all just flat out beat us. I, I'm I'm not making any excuses, man. I mean, you know, I think it was like 27 penalties in two games. You're not going to win games with shit like that, man. And on top of it, you know, more drop passes. You know, Green Beckham. You know, Ertz, you dropped a crucial pass that could have helped us out. But Wentz... You can't take those two sacks right there. We had a shot. Albeit a long shot. Well, I, I shouldn't say that, but we had a shot. Whether some people think it's a long shot or not. You can't take those two sacks, man. And Doug Peterson. I, I guess, he, I don't know. You got to at least take that one last shot, man, deep down that Hail Mary. I know it's a fourth and long. I know the odds of you getting it are slim to none, but you got to take that shot. You gave up. And that is inexcusable here in Philadelphia. There's just, you, like I said, you have to take that shot. Yeah, I'm still repping Jordan Matthews, but... Um, Bailed us out on a 54-yard play, but what good did it do? Oh, wait, it didn't do us any good because we lost the fucking game. You know, second time in two weeks, Fletcher Cox takes a stupid roughing the passer penalty when we have a shot to get off the field on third down and hold him to a field goal. You know, he did it last week. You know, instead of being, you know, 21 or 17-10 halftime last week, it would end up being 21-10. And then this week, instead of it being 17-14 at halftime, it's 21-14. Redskins shut us down, man. So, congratulations, Roby Reds, uh, Tall Stack, Skinstastic. I'm not sure if you still do videos or not, man, but shout out to you. A psychopath, and if I forgot to mention, oh, I apologize. <sighs> we got nowhere to go but up. All right, we just we got to keep playing. We got to figure out a way through this, guys. I am not giving up. About to give up on this team, by any means. But we have to get figure a way through this, and we got a very good Minnesota team coming off a of bye. Something's got to give. That is. The honest to God's truth, something has got to give these next week, few weeks, because we got Minnesota next week, we got Dallas the next week, we got the Giants the week after that, and then we got Atlanta, and then you know a tough two games after that against Seattle and Green Bay. These next, you know, four, five, six games are going to tell us a lot about this team. I'm not giving up on the season. I'm not going to do that. But these next six games are going to tell us an awful lot about this season. And whether it's going to be a good season or whether it's going to be a not-so-good season. You know, defense... I mean, it, I don't know. And I mean... You let the Redskins convert, you know, over 50%. You know, 493 yards. Uh, 230 something rushing yards on the ground. I mean, Ross of the Redskins, man, they just took it and rammed it right down our throat. And this is what kind of concerns me these next few games. We're going to have to figure out a way to stop the screen pass because teams are keying in, starting to key in now on our aggressive defense. Detroit did last week. 
Washington did today. And you got receivers coming up from Minnesota who are just as explosive as, you know, Deshaun Jackson, you know, and those guys. Jamison Crowder, Josh Doxson, even though I don't think he played today. He didn't play today. But... Eagles, we just got to bounce. We got to figure out a way through this. Uh, like I said, shout out Roby Reds. You know, it's tall stack. The skin's tastic. HTTR for life. Psycho half. All you guys, man. Good game. You guys won. No bullshit. I, that's not how I am. We got to figure a way through this, guys. Peace.